Welcome everybody to Go Local Live. I'm Josh Fenton, CEO and co-founder. It is a busy day on Go Local Live today. Uh, let me run you through the lineup. We're gonna first chat with Dr. Stephen Salloway at the Warren Alpert Medical School, Brown University, and Butler Hospital on some breaking initiatives relative to the fight against the Alzheimer's disease. Uh, secondly, we'll have Dr. Michael Fine at 12 noon. Uh, then we're gonna be talking to Dr. Jennifer Lawless from the University of Virginia, getting an update on what's going on in politics out of Washington, D.C. And last but not least, John Dodd, uh, shark expert, will be talking about what they found off the coast of Block Island, a group of uh, very large great white sharks. So uh, action-packed today. Let's go to Dr. Salloway. Dr. Salloway, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you for having me. Uh, I feel like you're one of those uh, sort of co-hosts on Saturday Night Live, like a Tom Hanks that's been on a few times. We need to get you a blazer, a Go Local blazer with, huh. the, with the logo on because we've had the pleasure of having you on. You were our 2019 Man of the Year in Rhode Island. You've been doing cutting edge research on Alzheimer's. Let's talk about one of your initiatives now. Talk about the U.S. Pointer Initiative and what that research is. Well, thank you so much for that honor last year and also for covering this important story. Um, the U.S. Pointer trial is testing whether a healthy lifestyle can protect memory in people at risk for Alzheimer's. And we're so excited that Rhode Island has been selected as one of five sites in the U.S. with the only center in the Northeast to participate. And I want to give a huge shout out to our governor, to Senator Whitehouse, to President Paxson of Brown, who personally reached out to the Alzheimer's Association, which is funding this trial, to bring uh, the trial to Rhode Island. And so it's a real plum for us. And I think Rhode Islanders just have a really terrific community spirit. And, you know, Brown and Rhode Island are global leaders in the fight against Alzheimer's. And so this is a new opportunity for people. And we're going to be testing. We're going to work closely with the Miriam Hospital. We have world experts there in lifestyle, healthy lifestyle interventions to protect uh, health and brain health. The Alzheimer's Association, the YMCA, and other groups. So it's a real community partnership here. Uh, to fight Alzheimer's in a new way with healthy lifestyle. How many folks will be included in this and what's the criteria for being included in it? Right. So this is a major undertaking. Uh, we're being, because there are so few sites, we're being asked to recruit 400 people. So we're going to have to screen thousands of people. So we encourage every Rhode Islander uh, ages 60 to 79 who have normal memory. We all have memory trouble uh, in this age group, but basically functioning okay, who have an increased risk for Alzheimer's based on family history, or they have high blood pressure or diabetes or high cholesterol. Um, they're not exercising more than three times per week. They're eating an American type of diet, not a Mediterranean type of diet. All those people may be eligible to participate. And it's a two-year study. And we're going to be testing whether vigorous exercise, a Mediterranean diet, brain training online, and good heart health done in a social setting with lots of support and coaching actually preserves memory. Uh, this obviously will have a, uh, a latitude to this. This is a long-term analysis. How long will, the, will this baseline uh, carry forward for? Well, the study, it's for each participant, the uh, treatment period is two years. But it's going to take us at least a couple of years to enroll that size of a group. So we're talking about at least five, I imagine, at least five years. And then this is actually a great partnership between the Alzheimer's Association. They're the sponsor. But also the National Institute of Health is we're going to be getting MRI and PET scans and looking at uh, sleep uh, and uh, about cardiovascular uh, health to really understand uh, how we can keep the brain healthy as we age. Yeah, I looked at the criteria of what the, the sort of healthy criteria are. I, I did okay in most of them except for sleep. 
That, that, that's <laughs> one that I, I would, right. would be a, a, a non-performer on. Um, uh, uh, what if someone, will you be selecting or are you looking for people to sign up? And you have a database that you've pulled together uh, with, with Butler Hospital, the 2020 database, will that be utilized as well? Right, yeah, thanks for asking that. Well, we're so happy because we had a campaign to get 2020 by 2020 in our prevention, Alzheimer's Prevention Registry and Wow, we got such a great, it was covered on, you guys covered it, and we got such a great response. We have now over 3,000 people in our prevention registry, so we surpassed that by over 1,000. So we encourage people to sign up for our prevention registry. They can, if they're interested, they can also call 401 pointer or go to butler.org slash pointer to sign up. So people need to, you know, sign up and then we'll uh, talk to them and see if they may be eligible. That's great. We'll include all those links in the, in the follow-up article. Uh, let, let's talk about your work with Biogen. This is cutting edge uh, research and the development of a drug that is now, according to uh, all, all, the, all the business news uh, websites about an hour ago, is now being submitted to the FDA as of today. Can you give us an update on that? Yeah, so this is a big news day uh, for Alzheimer's, which is great. And thank you so much. It's a very opportune timing. Uh, as you said, Biogen announced today that they have submitted uh, the application for aducanumab to be approved, their, their drug that lowers amyloid plaques in the brain, to be approved for early stages of Alzheimer's. And so it's really a milestone achievement. A lot of Rhode Islanders contributed to this. I'm really so proud of them. And I really also want to give a huge shout out to all the people, all our study participants. We've remained open through the whole COVID crisis. And for all the people that our staff and our study participants who've kept Alzheimer's research alive here in Rhode Island, thank you so much, because I know it's not easy uh, to go out right now and do something positive uh, to fight. I call Alzheimer's an epidemic within a pandemic and we need as much attention to Alzheimer's as we do to COVID. And if we can put that same zeal that we're using to try to find a vaccine for COVID to breakthroughs for Alzheimer's, I think we're really gonna make progress. And I'm so excited today, we're announcing two great things, the pointer study, this lifestyle study, and this Biogen drug that actually re removes parts of the pathology of Alzheimer's disease. And I think if we can combine both. If we keep our brains and hearts healthy, and for those at higher risk, actually have drugs that keep the brain healthy started early. Now we're on to something. Uh, we had last week Dr. Alan Roth, who's uh, one of the leading uh, physicians at Jamaica Hospital on last week. Uh, they were a hotspot hospital overrun with coronavirus cases. He, he talked about what he thought the long-term effect of this uh, virus is. And one of the things he pointed out is the worry about folks not taking care of their other health issues, whether it's cancer treatments or being screened for different elements. How has the pandemic complicated your work in trying to break through on research relating to Alzheimer's? Sure. Well, it's clearly had a damper uh, on Alzheimer's, on everything, but on Alzheimer's, including Alzheimer's research. Um, so we have to take more precautions and, and we, the health of our participants and our staff is number one. So people should know if they're interested in the pointer trial, we actually have a new prevention trial we're gonna be announcing next week as well. I mean, there's a lot of break, late breakers uh, occurring for Alzheimer's here in Rhode Island, which is great, that we do take um, COVID precautions very seriously. So we follow the state guidelines of social distancing and mask wearing and uh, sanitizing and, um, and ch temperature checking. If people are ill, they are, we, they are not allowed to come in. So, you know, we really protect their health and our staff exposure as well. I think COVID is actually going to long term, and right now it's really rough. I know in many parts of the country. I, I really give a shout out to Governor Raimondo and our Department of Health, I think we've done a super job here in Rhode Island being really vigilant about this and following the data. And that's what we need to keep doing. 
people should know if they sign up for pointer the pointer study for the next couple of months the visits are remote they don't have to come in so we do this you know on, online or by phone uh, so that gives us a little cushion here hopefully things will settle down further in terms of safety regarding covid but i think what covid is doing and i, and I think if you listen to governor Raimondo last week she was talking about innovation how can we make things better you know not just go back to the status quo of how it was but you know now we're doing telemedicine we can do a lot of research remotely. Let's make, let's do that. Uh, let's find innovative ways to provide care and do research that actually gets us to our goal, and not just go back to the ways you know just because we had them before. So yeah, I, I, think, I, I think you make a great point. Listen, uh, t telemedicine's a breakthrough coming out of this. Uh, people up to 80 years old can now use Zoom and be able to communicate in all sorts of new and innovative ways instantaneously. So right. there are some benefits of what's transpired. Well, I want to give a shout out to my mom, who, who's 88, and she got on, learned how to use Zoom. My niece helped her. And she's also doing Bridge Online, <laughs> and, which is great because she's you know really confined in a retirement community, and that's like a lifesaver. So people can learn new things, and we're going to find new ways to, to make progress. Uh, Dr. Stephen Salloway, always great having you on Go Local Live, uh, one of the leading experts on Alzheimer's disease, doing some of the most cutting edge, important research across the country. And obviously your work with Biogen has some potential to be a complete game changer for the 5.5 million Americans who suffer through Alzheimer's. Sir, you get the last word. What do Rhode Islanders need to know? Well, thank you so much for covering this story. and. Please sign up. We encourage all Rhode Islanders 60 to 79 who might qualify to sign up. You heard it from Dr. Salloway. For everyone else, stay tuned. Uh, Dr. Fine at 12 o'clock. We'll have Jennifer Lawless, and then we'll have John Dodd talking about sharks uh, and what he's found off of Block Island. Uh, everyone, please, please stay safe.